lift it off? I mean, it always feels good to see guys that's been hurt, that's been, you know, you see them around the building, see them in the training, they're working really hard to get back. It's definitely good to see them out there. Um, I know Buzz will be coming back this week, so I'm definitely happy for him. I know he's battled, you know, his injuries and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, we kind of knew that we had a, a tough stretch of the schedule there, whereas though we knew we were going to have some guys out and we was going to get guys back later in the year. So it's been good. We've been able to string some wins together with some of our key players out. So uh, hopefully we'll, you know, get some new ammunition out there. Uh, I mean, you came up as a, a Steelers fan. You know, you always like to steal uh, Palomalo, et cetera. How excited are you to be able to, you know, finally get a game in that I'm really excited. Uh, I actually played there in 2017 on Thursday night game. We got beat pretty bad, but uh, it's always good to go up there and play, you know, the Golden Black. Um, got a lot of respect for Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, Mike Tomlin, he said some pretty good things about me. I actually texted to my dad. It was pretty funny because uh, I was kind of joking with him because down at the Senior Bowl, um, you know, Mike Tomlin was down there, and I'm like, oh, this is Mike Tomlin, and they didn't even want to meet with me. They didn't meet, I didn't say they didn't want to, but they didn't meet with me, and I was kind of upset about that, but uh, it, it is what it is, but I got a lot of respect for everything they have with their tradition, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and like you said, man, uh, it's going to be a really good game. Kevin, how do you try to, you know, coming off of a defensive performance last week where you shut them out, I mean, how do you, you can never, I guess, match that or top it, but in Correct. your mind, you want to, right? Yeah, I mean, honestly, just, just being real with you guys, we understand that this challenge is going to be a lot different than the one we just had in Jacksonville. Uh, they have some really great receivers uh, from Johnson, who, you know, he battled some drops last year, but he's playing like a number one receiver. Claypool's a deep threat. Washington's a deep threat. And uh, they're tight end 88, man. He's a really good red zone threat. I think he's top first for uh, tight ends and touchdowns. Uh, so they have a lot of firepower out, out there. Uh, we know Ben Roethlisberger is not the Ben Roethlisberger from 10 years ago, but he still uh, is great enough to run that offense for the line of scrimmage and, and still put up points. And can't forget about Najee Harris. He's a really good rookie. He runs really hard, runs behind his pads. So it's going to be a huge challenge for us this weekend trying to stop those guys. And you kind of touched on it there, but did, did it make you feel good when you saw what Tomlin said about you yesterday? Um, after maybe the experience you had with the Senior Bowl? No, nah, it really does, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I remember when I went to the Pro Bowl my second year, Pittsburgh was actually our coaches uh, on the AFC side as well, so I had a chance to chop it on as well. But nah, it feels good, man. You know, you talk about wanting to get respect from your peers and things like that, but when a coach can speak highly of you, it uh, feels real good. A guy that I was watching when I was a little kid and he was winning Super Bowl, so it definitely feels good. You mentioned Pittsburgh been, one of those special uh, places that kind of uh, charges you up a little bit more when you go up there and play? I wouldn't say it charges me up any more or less, um, but I do understand the environment, the atmosphere. You know, you're going to see the terrible tiles up there. It's kind of nostalgic for me, because like I said, I grew up watching them and uh, always been a huge fan of their defense and Troy Palomalu and James Harrison and all those guys. So uh, it's going to be a little, uh, I wouldn't say special, special to me, but um, to know I'm playing in the stadium that uh, has a lot of history and tradition that is definitely going to feel well. Did you, you ever own a terrible an OG like that still just battling to the bitter end like he's been doing? Could be his last year. How much respect do you have to have for a guy like that? I mean, guys, he's a, he's a Hall of Famer. So uh, you, you get to go up against a Hall of Famer, you want to bring your A game. You want you want it to be where as though at the end of the game, Ben Roethlisberger comes up to you and say, hey, man, I respect your game and things like that. So. Uh, like I said, I have a ton of respect for him, and he's in year 18, and he's, you know, he's still batting, like you said. I mean, but I mean, one thing I will say about their, about their offense, I mean, obviously he's getting the ball out pretty fast. I mean, a lot of screens, a lot of catch and run situations, and he's still, you know, going vertical on the outside because he has some really good receivers. So, like I said, he can run that offense to a T because he's been in that offense and that's just for so long. A ton of respect for him. Did you, a lot of did you ever own a terrible towel or have any posters up in your room as a kid? I didn't, but my dad bought me a Tro Palomalo jersey when I was in high school. He was like, my favorite player, uh, obviously on that team for sure. Uh, I've watched film on him since I've been in the league. Uh, I watched film on him when I was in college. Uh, the most instinctual football player I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and actually my first year, you know, I had Dick LeBeau as the defense coordinator and Deshae Townsend. And we used to, he used to tell me stories about because I used to ask him a lot about, you know, uh, Trump Alamont or whatever. But I didn't have a terrible tie. I wish I could have. Uh, Honestly, if I had an opportunity to get one in high school, I would have bought one for sure. There's a lot of teams sitting at the top of the AFC with that 9-4 and four record. I know you can only control yeah. what you can control. So right. over the next few weeks, what's it going to take for one of those teams to separate themselves? It could take a game. It could take two games. Uh, obviously, we know Indianapolis, they're a really good team, and they're 7-6, and six, and you know where they're coming. I mean, obviously, they had a bye week last week, but they're coming. It's just like a horse race. We kind of talk about this every year towards, you know, this is kind of that, that time. Uh, I think in golf, they call it a moving day or something like that where – you know, it's a three, four week stretch where, you know, the brackets or whatever could be looking like this and in three, four weeks it could look totally different. So we have to go out there, just handle our business and go win football games so we can worry about, we control our own destiny. That's how I, that's how I take it.